In a few days, I'll go where I stood when you left us for France. There, I'll leave a last gift for you. There, I'll vanish, never to come back. Farewell, Jonathan. I wish you to be as happy as I've been with you all these years. Kiss my Mary and my Emmeline for me. Take care of them. Farewell, my dear boy. Believe me, ever, my dearest John. Your devoted father, Aubrey Reed. Southwark. My departure for France as a promising student. My return as a brilliant surgeon about to be killed. I've decided to go to Whitechapel because I never found Haoshun and there are two more people for me to meet. And I want to locate them. I feel like I must have been blind not to have found them yet. But it does make me realise as well that this skull that I spent so long avoiding is now nothing to me. Wet Boot Boy's note. Concerning the recruitment of new boys in Whitechapel, I think I found one. Olby. He's as stupid as a stool, but tough. I asked him to prove to me he could get some drugs from the black market and deliver quickly and nicely. Next time we meet, I'll tell him he's a He's accepted as a wet boot boy, and he must now meet the bosses and get his orders. I'm sure Albert would like to know he's been accepted by the wet boot boys. Oh. Oh, he stole the drugs from his father. I completely forgot about that. This was the father and son that were arguing. Because he thought his son had stolen his, his medication, and it turns out he had. We've already been... Oh, I forgot the... Difficulties. This is where the pre guard headquarters was for this area. We've already been down there. Uh, how strong are you? Not very. Best stay back, sir. I don't think I will. Let's thin out the guard a bit. Let's actually. Ow! Nope, I want a blood spear. Or claw, because I want to see how effective. Oh, that's very effective. And that wasn't getting blood back. I am being very reckless in combat right now. Let's unleash the beast, just because we can. That's a lot of people they've killed, skull or not. I'm still not convinced they really know the difference. Let's get some blood off you. It really is effective. I don't know why I sound so surprised. It, it could be a good combination. If I use that rather than a stake, and then I could use a gun in my offhand. Come on! There we are. Now, this is this is the door I entered Whitechapel through the gate, rather, where I saw Mr. Palmer. Well, Palmer and Palmer. And he was knocking on doors, was he? Oh, there you are. The wet boots will be proud of me. Will they now? How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. Language. <sighs> well, the man you are looking for is dead. You know, the one the wet boot boys sent you after for the uh, black market drugs? I found the recruiter you were expecting. He's or that dead. one. But he carried a note. The wet boot boys have accepted your application. I knew it! I told you I was tough enough. I'll be free soon. Don't sound too excited. This is no freedom. You're indenturing yourself into a life of crime you'll most likely not be able to escape. It's going to be violence. And you will most likely be victim to the violence. 
free. You may soon find out that you have simply traded one set of shackles for another. You're all fancy words, none of which concern me. Go worry about someone else. I'm fine and I have a future here. I very much doubt it. However, Conditions oh, ready for whatever's coming. No, that's not what I wanted. We're we're done here, aren't we? Goodbye, young man. Maybe he didn't steal his father's drugs. Well, I guess we'll never know. Uh, Benjamin Palmer. Is there anything we can talk about Good regarding evening, your son? Can I help you? I'm afraid not, Mr. Reed. No. I'll leave you be. You don't seem well, oh. Benjamin. Do you need any help? No, thank you. Your medicine does its job. But it ain't making miracles, despite everything. I'll leave you be. Gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. Now. How Shun. She's who we've come to find. Along with the other two citizens we've yet to meet. Because we've never actually seen her after she returned to Whitechapel. Or after, rather, when we saved her from the skull in the cemetery. We're not going to find her here. Hello. Have I been up here before? Well, I it's not ringing any bells. The back of a butcher's, it seems like. Oh, shillings. I'll take those. Interesting. This seems to be the perfect place to spy on a suspicious dealing. But who would be involved? There is Albert Palmer, who's around this area. I'll have to keep an eye out for any suspicious behaviours. There she is! Oh, she's tending to the ill. Oh, how Shun! Good evening, Xiao Shun. Xiao Shun, my apologies. It's good to see you again. And you! I'm glad you're over here again and not out in the cemetery. Maybe you should move to a better neighborhood, if you can afford to do so. Why don't you move to a better neighborhood? I thought about it, I confess. To go back to the same empty home every day still hurts me a lot. Why stay here, then? I am a woman of habit, Dr. Reed. And for now, I am happier being useful in a familiar place than I would be anywhere else. Perhaps you should go speak with uh, Nurse Crane, Dorothea Crane. She... she has a little sort of... What's the word? Underground, that's it. An underground little hospital she has. You might be able to put yourself to work there. What is it you do for a living, though? What are you doing with your time now that you're back in Whitechapel? I've decided to help the poor and sick of the neighborhood by handing out medicine. That's very generous of you. But why at night? That's very charitable. But why do it at night? I've noticed that the most desperate people tend to go out after dark. Hence my presence. To help them when I can. You just make sure you don't stray from this area. You stay in Whitechapel. Don't go down any back alleys or anything. And you're handing out free medicine. Where does the medicine come from? That's what I'm wondering. Giving out medicine? How can you afford to do that? I am a rich widow, Dr. Reed. My departed husband left me enough money to last the rest of my life. I can spend some on those who don't have any. Again, it's very generous of you. You're a, you're a nice lady. 
personal questions. How are you... How are you feeling since our conversation in the cemetery all those nights ago now? How do you feel now that you're back in Whitechapel? I've decided to follow your advice, sir. I won't forget the dead, but my efforts will be for the living. Very good. It's a it's a wise attitude. But don't forget about your safety. You you're part of the living as well. It it is a wise attitude. I've no doubt. That is a wise and useful attitude in this part of town. To be completely honest with you, I am also doing this for myself. If I'm destined to survive this epidemic, I need my life to have some purpose. I hear you. And I assume you do still think about your husband. Do you still think about your departed husband? Of course I do. I'll never forget my beloved Matthew, but how do I put it? Now I miss him more than I want him back. I know what you mean. I hear you. And I think it means you're getting better. Maybe death will take me the way it took Matthew. Without warning and without mercy. But until then, I live on. Very good. So really what you're saying is you've come to terms with his death and you know that you can't bring him back. Now... You will forever miss him. But you... I must admit, you do still look a little worse for wear. Do you need any medical attention? How do you feel? Physically speaking. I don't feel good, Dr. Reed. Not at all. Here, take this. It'll make you feel a bit better. You should recover quickly after taking this. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. I shall leave you be. Goodbye for now. Right, we found Shaoshun. Found what appears to be somewhere we can observe potentially suspicious behavior. Now all we need to do is find the remaining two citizens. I cannot find these last two anywhere. What about Back here. I can't access this area yet. I can access this area. I haven't explored it very thoroughly. Could be here. Is this technically part of Whitechapel? I'm gonna have to look down there. I should be stronger than anything I find in that part of town. Should be much stronger now, hopefully. Let's go and have a look. Whitechapel Old Road. This this is still Whitechapel then. A shadow Econ. You're a lot weaker than your friends. Back in the pack. Oh, okay, there's two of you. Oh, that's just a niche of the beast. Careful. Ow! That is not very nice. Oh. Careful. Let's heal. No. Oi! I don't like that one. Wish I had that power. Oh. Ow. Honestly, you don't sound so tough when you're being drunk yourself, do you? Well, I did not expect to see those two there. Let's have a look. Where did the other one... Oh, they both fell in the same location. Well, they fed together, they died together. Is this...? No. Thorough, if we can. Another rogue Econ. The where? Did I ever go through here? I do not appear to have done. Is that a 
No, it's not a safe house, but there is something to invest in. Oh, hello. Are you calling stupid? You, sir, are the one who's been got. Now, where was I? That looks like a door I can open. Hello. All right, time to make some more of that miracle stew. Where is the burner? Something of a scientist. Ouch, oh, shit. Ow. Is this man no more chlorine? Blind. Well, the next batch will be a little less miraculous. That's all. Uh, Mirac. Oh wait, no. The. Hang up, Mason Swamberer. He's the one making the miracle cure that she's touting. I guess we're gonna knock and let ourselves in. Hello, sir. Sorry to disturb you at this hour. I'm a doctor inquiring about the epidemic. And your I miracle cure. A doctor, you say? No, thank you. No, thank you. I really, I insist you let me in. It cannot be safe for a blind man to live here alone. Let me enter, sir. I swear I mean you no harm. Well, a voice never lies, and yours clearly is the voice of a gentleman. All right, Doctor, come on in. You did have a couple of Econs just across the street. That's definitely not safe. It's a good thing I turned up when I did. Well. You've got a migraine. You're lucky I came along. I can definitely treat that. Vampires feed on the soul. Vampires. Oh, Clarence Crossley. Vampires drink our blood, but they feed on our soul. How could we believe that any man or woman... Killed by these foul creatures, bitten by their filthy mouths, could then be accepted in heaven. No, their bodies have been defiled and their souls have been corrupted. Their place is now in hell with the legions of blood-sucking demons vampires feed on our souls. Well, with my aversion now to holy symbols... What kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this late hour? Then again, I'm not averted... Av I have no aversion to this particular holy symbol, but, and I can't, I couldn't enter a church. So it does stand to reason I am not going to be accepted into heaven. It's locked. Right, I don't think there's anything else. Let's have a word with you. If I may say so, you do have a lot of candles lit for a blind man. So what is the name of my nocturnal visitor? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. As I already explained to you, I'm inquiring about the epidemic. Dr. Reed? The eminent surgeon? My god, I'd never have expected a brilliant physician like you to knock on my door. You flatter me, sir. No, sir, I am flattered. I read all your work when I still had my sight. I loved it. I'm Mason Swanborough, by the way. A pleasure to meet you. Well, first things first, you would... Do you have a, a headache of any kind I can treat you with? Any... Maybe I, I really do need to stop just going straight to the, the illness. Tell me, how do you feel? Do you have any, any symptoms of fatigue or disease? You seem unwell, sir. Do you need my assistance? Actually, I feel worse than usual. Can you give me something? Yes, certainly. You take this treatment for a migraine. Yes. I can give you a little something that has been proven effective. Oh. Thank you, Doctor. Jonathan. I, I do like that sly remark you slipped in there. Let's see if he is responsible for the miracle cure. Tell me about your, your life in London. You, you seem to know me. What else do you know about me? And what else have you learned about me, Mr. Swanborough? I know you assisted Professor Carell in France, and that you invented a new blood transfusion method based on his work. Yes. Those were frustrating but exciting days. I loved it. Yes, the thrill of research and discovery. This is what drives people like us, Dr. Reed. Oh, how I envy you. Are you a, 
an actual doctor yourself, or are you a a wannabe? Is anybody here taking care of you? Does someone take care of you in this isolated place? My sister Loretta and I have our daily routine. Every morning and evening she comes by so we can talk and eat. Then she leaves and I stay. You sound like you don't appreciate her visits, the way you said she leaves. Do you not appreciate your sister's visits? Loretta is the best and worst thing that happened to me. And I believe she could say the same thing about me. Interesting. I hope I've got things to ask Loretta about after this conversation. Do you know where she goes afterwards? you know what she does? Where does your sister go? Well, let's just say she earns enough money for us both. What's so amusing about that? I won't hide the truth from you. Loretta sells a fake miracle elixir to the sick people of Whitechapel. Oh, so you're not even going to hide the fact that it's a fake. You're just blatantly going to gloat about it. So you you are the one who makes Swanborough's cordial. So, Mason, you are the creative one in the Swanborough business, are you not? Yes, I am. I am the one who invented and improved the family recipe. And you do it all by yourself, blind and isolated in this laboratory. My eyes may be useless, but my brain is still sharp. Once a chemist, always a chemist. But clearly you're not making anything that actually does any good. Is... Is your sister using you, you think? It sounds like you're using one another. I'm going to assume she couldn't make this cure without you. And you clearly can't make money off of it without her. Is your sister using you and your skills for her own profit? I've lost my sight, not my wits. Loretta couldn't manipulate me in a million years. Are you sure about that? You clearly depend on her. Let me be perfectly clear. I came up with the idea of the Swanborough Cordial. Loretta needs me more than I need her. So she's reliant, then, on the income you help generate. But why waste your, your skills and your knowledge making a fake... Cure, just something that's just not going to do any good. Do you not have any pride in your work as a chemist? Mason, why would you waste your skill and knowledge on crafting snake oil and fake drugs? But this is my only opportunity to continue practicing my art. By giving false hope to desperate people? They all see me as disabled and useless. I'm sick of their pity. <sighs> it's difficult to accept. It must be difficult to accept the changes that happen when they are so clearly negative. I can't imagine becoming blind. It terrifies me, frankly. I, I would have as much difficult or difficulty accepting what's happened. To accept what has happened to us and what we have become is a difficult process. I'm sorry for what you've had to endure. You'll not get my respect through cheap compassion, Doctor. Speak to me like I'm a normal human being. That's all I ask. I hear you. I shall I shall do so. But there really wasn't a way to speak to you like a normal human by either calling you pathetic or saying you're petty and vengeful, which really you are. What about the current situation in Whitechapel? Are you aware of much that's happening? How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? I hear them hissing and scratching at my door every night. The sick made mad by the fever. You make sure that's these locked up tight. walls are thick and my lock is solid. Very good. You be careful. You do live in a dangerous part of town right now. Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. I'll leave you now. Tell me, how do you see the world these days? <sighs> To a different lens, let's put it that way. Oh, hello. Loretta's letter. My dear brother, this is an apology letter you'll never read. You've lost your sight because of me. I know you hate me for what I did, even if you never say so. You don't talk much in the Swambra family, do we? So, to clear my conscience, this is my bravest gesture towards you. To write you this letter, and to leave it in your laboratory. If you ever find it, and ask about it, I'll read it to you. If someone else reads it, well, as I wrote above, this is my bravest gesture. So, Mason, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry for what I did and for the hell you've been thrown into. I'm sorry you're now a blind man trying to find meaning to your useless life. Gee, Loretta, come on now. You don't sound very sorry when you put it like that. If I could change one thing, one thing in my miserable life, it would be what happened one year ago. I swear it, Mason. If I could give you my eyes to see again, I would. But it doesn't work that way, does it? So please, my brother, forgive me. What did you do, Loretta? Let's... Excuse me, sir. What can I do for you, Doctor? Can we... Talk about the guilt of your sister towards you. What exactly happened? Why does your sister feel so guilty about what happened to you? Because she knows I'll never forgive what she did to me. You run an illegal business with someone you hate? I don't hate my sister. She looks after me, we have a good time. But I'm just not ready to forgive her. And considering what's happened, you seem to hold her responsible, and she seems to hold herself responsible for your blindness. I, I understand why, as much as you love her and as much as you enjoy her company, it can be difficult to forgive somebody still. Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. I'll leave you now. Some things are difficult to put behind you. Be you lock this door behind me, sir. And... I was going to say, ignore me jumping down, but he can't see me jumping down. What have we got down here? Well, we found one of the gentlemen we were looking for. We are now back at the cemetery. So I have a feeling I'm not going to find the other gentleman around here. Does this count as part of Whitechapel? I need to check the road when I return. Down the street to the left, there is a cul-de-sac here. Let's go have a look. And there's a safe house here. Let's remake a migraine treatment. Oh, hello. So I didn't even see you. Oh, or you. I have my head in the clouds. Is that all of you? Seems to be. Let's make... Ha hang on. Have I been able to create more than one treatment all along? And I just never did it. I've always just run back and forth. Right, okay. I don't think there's any reason to make more than one at a time. Unless I know I'm going to be treating multiple people for the same treatment. Oh, I'm an... How could I have missed that? Well, as I say, I'm not going to make any more than I, than I need. Right now, I don't need any more. Oh. Foolish me! Ow, you! Come on! Ow! Come on! There we go. Was it this? Left. Oh, hello, young Ekon. Don't you know better? No, I, I don't know better. Do you? No, clearly you don't. Oh, there we go. Good trigger parts. Ekons are a good source of parts. Is this the cul-de-sac I saw on the map? No, it's not. Right, further down the street. Should be the next left. Oh, hello. Oh, ow. Luckily, you're about the same level as me, so you won't hurt that much. And that means I can be a lot more aggressive. Mm. 
much more aggressive. Everyone guard just there, of course, they're ignoring the big skulls and Volkods fighting everywhere. This must be it. Hello, you loud boys and girls. That. That was satisfying. Oh, they didn't stand a chance. A wool scarf. A beautiful and warm woolen scarf with a traditional Romanian pattern. Who could that belong to? It might be worth speaking with Darius Petrescu, but he doesn't have any more clues. That's curious. I don't really know what to do with that scarf. I would have thought it would belong to somebody. Find out to whom the scarf belongs to. Christina Popa and Clayton Darby. Hmm. Well, Clayton is a, a journalist. He's got an eye for detail. We might want to start with him. It doesn't appear to have been anything else down here. Other than a couple of shillings. I'll have those. That does mean we are missing a citizen still. Hello, gentlemen. Oh, I miss you. No, I'm just being careless. I, I need to be more careful because although they're weaker than me, that's no excuse to get reckless and it'll be even more embarrassing if they get me. Oh, hello. I just wanted some blood. Ow. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Don't do the waggling. There is a Vulcan over there. Oh. Practically chopped him in half. Let's go back up here. This is Whitechapel Street. So maybe I would find that gentleman on this street. Let's have a thorough look around. Lovely you. I mean, we might as well start with unleashing the beast. Here we go. Bit too strong for me to wipe out an entire group. Oh, in that one ability. But. Still not strong enough for me to worry about. There's a trail of blood. And a door. Oh, I didn't realize there was anything over here. 